and speak and shit. Are you coming up first, though?
These guys are our brothers from uh, 35 years ago. Holy! We spent a lot of shitty nights in shitty hotel rooms. We used to play like 300 shows a year. We were an overnight sensation. I, you know, when you look back, it's like, uh, those are the best times of your life, you know what I mean? There's no pressure, you know what I mean? We were just all fighting to play rock and roll. That's all we wanted to do, right? We didn't have the cure to cancer or anything. Um, I, you know, and, uh, I, can, I can tell you stories. Because we, we have like, uh, we can't write. It'll be a coloring book. Or a pop-up book. Oh, wait. But there's, I'll tell you one funny story, because there's like at least three of them. I can't remember three of them. So like we used to, we'd be out, we'd be at a place for like six days, right? So you play three fucking fifties a night or whatever, you know, we're doing whatever the fuck we were doing. It was pretty crazy. But we're starving to death, right? Everybody had their loaf of bread and the fucking peanut butter, <laughs> right? And if it was winter, all right, I could put my milk outside and shit, but had a hot plate. Especially with the Federo brothers, that was the worst. The Italians, they would eat like everything and go, oh, I didn't eat it. Oh, I didn't eat it. What are you talking about? So we'd be, we were in Elliott Lake one time and, you know, like we're... <laughs> Elliott Lake! That's where rock goes to die. So anyways, <laughs> this is back in 1906, right after the first album came out. So one day we're all in our little fucking shit room waiting for the shit night to start, the shit matinee on a shit Saturday morning after we're shit faced. <laughs> Here comes Dunk walking in with a snack pack from the Colonel. Where the fuck did you get that? You bastard. Well, Rusty, I pawned the fucking vacuum cleaner from the hotel. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna, I was one, we're gonna have a better laugh than that, but I guess. Uh, you've only heard 900 times. You didn't hear me? Say it again. Say, say it, Mulk. I went to Elliot Lake. Which part? The punchline. I on the vacuum cleaner from the hotel. to learn not to speak in Spanish. Um, that was fabulous uh, seeing Angie and Bryce. And I know, they, I know they were so excited to come and see you guys today. Um, oh, come to our golf tournament next week. See, we went from like stealing the vacuum cleaner for snacks packs, now we're feeding the hungry out in fucking Whitby. Man? That's a good thing, no? I don't like to get political because it's like that's a bunch of horse shit. But no one in Canada should be starving. Yeah. Oh, except for Kathleen Lee. Yeah.